Before you can begin doing any sort of takeoff and on-screen takeoff, you must first create the new bid and import the planes. To do this, first, select the database in which you want to store the bid. Then, go to the File menu in the top left corner of the screen, select New, and then select Bid. You can also simply click the dollar sign icon right underneath the File menu to add the new bid as well. This will then either open the bid wizard or the bid cover sheet if you've turned off the wizard. To turn off the wizard, click the Do Not Show This Again checkbox in the bottom left corner and then press Cancel. Now, let's start a bid from directly within the cover sheet. The first thing you should do is assign a status. If you've already added statuses to your database, then one is already populated in this field. If your job status field is blank, that simply means you haven't added any yet. To add job statuses for use on this bid and any other bids within this database, click on the magnifying glass icon to the right of the job status field. A pop-up window now displays which lists the existing job statuses. To add a new status, simply select the New button to the right. Once added, you can change the order in which it displays by using the Move Up and Move Down buttons to the right. Note that whichever job status displays at the top of the list is the one that serves as the default job status for every new bid. You can also use the Delete button to remove any unwanted statuses from your list. Now give your job a name. It probably goes without saying, but give your bid a name that relates to the job you're actually bidding. This will make it much easier to search for and find this bid if you need to come back to it later. Once you've named your job, you can then also assign a job number. This is another way you can identify and search for your bid. Organization-specific name and numbers, accounting system ID numbers, and contract numbers are often used in this field. Then, add your estimator record. If you already have your estimator record set up, you can begin typing the first few letters, and the rest of the name auto-populates into the field. If you don't yet have your estimator record set up, simply type in your name and press Enter. A prompt then displays, telling you that the estimator record doesn't yet exist in this database, and asks if you'd like to add it. Select Yes. An Employee Detail window then displays. The first and last name already display based on what you typed in the estimator field. You can add information in the other fields if you wish, but the only other mandatory entry is an employee number. Assign a number to the record, and then press OK. Next, add any notes that apply to this job. This is a good spot to enter RFI contact information, for example. These notes also display in the Notes column back on the Bids tab. The Price Using field is where you'll then indicate how you want to add pricing information to the quantity totals you attain with an on-screen takeoff. You can choose the Quick Bid Estimating software, Excel, or the Worksheet tab within OST. There are separate videos explaining how to price using Quick Bid and Excel, so let's leave this field set to the Worksheet tab. If you are going to be using Repeating Typical Takeoff, then select one of the typical options. These options are covered in greater detail in other videos, so let's leave the field set to Use Typical Groups for this example. Then, select the bid due date and time. Now, you're ready to add your images. The buttons along the bottom left of the cover sheet are used to add and organize your images. The blue plus sign icon adds new blank pages to the bid. To add the drawings for this bid, you can use the next two buttons. These buttons work in two different ways. If you use the Auto Add Images button to add images, you'll navigate to a folder directory and select an image file. Then, select Open. OST then imports every image file in that folder directory. If you use the Insert New Image Page button, then you can navigate to a folder directory and cherry-pick just the specific image files you want to import into the job without importing every image file in that folder. You can rope around specific images, or hold down the Control key to select the specific images you want from within that folder. Then select Open to add them to your bid. You can use these two buttons from within the cover sheet to add more images at any time in the takeoff process. Your images are now added to the bid. The other buttons along the bottom left are covered in a separate video dedicated to adding images to a bid. The next step before finishing your bid setup is to establish your bid areas. Bid areas are any regions of work within your bid for which you'd like to see broken out results. This is often used to break out results by different rooms, 
floors, buildings, or even elevations, but can be set up arbitrarily based on your needs within a specific job. Select the New button to the right to create the bid areas you want to define for this job. You can use the Indent button to make an area a child area of the area above it. This is useful to assign floors to specific buildings or rooms or wings to specific floors. Once you've added all the areas for this job, press OK. Now with your job named, the status assigned, the images loaded, and the bid areas defined, you can press OK to create your new bid. The job is then added to the database, and you're automatically taken to the Image tab to begin performing takeoff for this bid.